Hi guys, JP from FSI panel. On that quick tutorial, I will show you how to use the new scenario manager of FSI panel 2020 advanced edition. One of you put a remark on the Discord that was very nice. He said, we need a lot of time to import a new training scenario. First of all, we need to start MSFS, which take a long time. Then we need to select the aircraft we want to fly the scenario with. Then we need to go in FSI panel, import the scenario that will install the weather preset, as you know, and then restart FSI panel and restart MSFS. So basically, yes, the time lost here is probably around five minutes and it quite it, it is quite a writing to uh, have to start and restart the simulator. I fully agree with that. So I took this uh, input very seriously and I worked on a new method. Uh, which I call the Scenario Manager, and I will show you now today how easily you can manage your scenario without having to restart uh, MSFS. So here I started FSI panel, and as you can see, there is no airport detected and no air airplane detected because MSFS is not running. So that's now the new ID. You just start MS, uh, FSI panel sorry, on its own. You go to your setup, and then you go to the Scenario tab, and you don't have, as before, the old screen with all the scenario installed for the particular aircraft now you will get instead an open scenario manager button if you click on it here is the scenario manager so the first thing here if you have an aircraft already loaded in msfs it will be displayed right there if not you can select on which aircraft you want to fly your next training scenario you have the choice between the phoenix a320 the PMDG fleet, the Mad Dog MD-82, and you can see the last one is generic all aircraft. So if you want to fly a scenario on any other aircraft not compatible with FSI panel, you can do that. The only thing you have to make sure is that you are meeting the uh, cruising level. So let me show you that. If I select generic aircraft because I want to fly it on, I don't know, uh, any aircraft that is not uh, currently supported by FSI panel, the only thing you have to take care if you click on any scenario, is the cruising altitude. So if your aircraft can climb to 4,000 feet on that one, if your aircraft can climb to flight level 2900, then you, you are clear to go, you can install it and fly it on any aircraft you like on the advanced edition of FSI panel. So let's say today we would like to practice on the 737-900. So I select the 900. As you can see, I have only one scenario currently installed. It shows in green. So green means already installed on my computer. If I click on it, I get a full brief. So it's a Dublin ETRO. It's a beginner scenario. There is no failure. The voice is enabled, so you need the push to talk, and uh, we will get a real ATC voice. We have the origin airport, which in that case is Dublin. The starting position is on Pier 4401. That's the gate. And if you don't have a correct scenery for that uh, airport and you're using, using sorry, the stock uh, scenery, then uh, it's the gate 175. Azobo 175 will do on that scenario. You need to be able to cruise to flight level 290. And here you get some information about your um, scenario. Then this is the weather preset file that you will have to use. And now we've got a couple of buttons. So we have the open lesson plan. If I click on this, I get the uh, lesson plan of the training scenario. So that's a good idea to read it and to see if you want to fly it or not. Remember that the first part is very important. You will get the information about your routing, the weather, the notams, the procedure to start the training scenario, the notes, and then the rest is up to you if you want to read from that point. It's very important to go all the way to taxi yard to make sure you position your aircraft in the right place on the airport. And after that, you have the tips for the scenario. So if you want to go ahead and fly it without looking at the tips, go ahead. There is sometimes traps. The idea on that training scenario is to show you things that we uh, encounter um, several times during the year when flying uh, commercially. And that's sometimes little things like a uh, route of change of routing, holdings, uh, runways closed. So these kind of things can happen. It's still a beginner scenario because you are you have an aircraft which is 100% uh, function. There is no malfunctions, I mean, on that aircraft. So you can go ahead and, and fly it. You just need to update your routing. You just need to update your flight plan. And so that can be a little bit uh, tricky, but it's a good exercise. So that's the point of some scenarios. So that's the open lesson plan. Then you have the SIM brief flight plan. So if you click on this, uh, SIM brief will open. 
and FSI panel will populate all the data for you. So basically you will find your routing for the day, the uh, passenger weight that has been calculated for the fuel that will be loaded and you just generate your flight and now you can import it in the EFB and you will have all the charts and uh, data information available. If you decide to fly uh, the training scenario on a generic aircraft, then FSI panel will do exactly the same, but will not select any aircraft in SimBrief. So we'll just have to select your airplane and set the weight as you like, generate your flight plan, and again, you can go ahead and fly the scenario. If there is a YouTube tutorial, the button will be enabled, and then on clicking on it, you will have the uh, YouTube tutorial showing on your computer. Finally, we have two more buttons in that case because the scenario is already installed as it shows in green. So I can either download scenario if there is an update. If I tell you in the Discord channel that I have updated this scenario, you can click on download again. And now the new scenario is on your computer, the new version. If you want to delete that scenario to uh, make space for order or because you have too many, for instance, weather preset on your uh, folders and when you select the weather preset you have a tons of weather preset if you want to delete that scenario from your computer just click delete scenario and now that's it the scenario is not there anymore as you can see so let's say today we would like to fly the uh, swiss 2254 charter to genoa with english atc this is on the 737 900 so i can open the lesson plan i can see where i need to position my aircraft so gate 11 alpha 11 to alpha 17 then I can see that I have a failure on that scenario. The voice is enabled. The difficulty is moderate. So again, in the lesson plan, you will have the tips. So if you want to go for the tips, read it beforehand. If not, just read all the way to here, position your aircraft, go ahead and fly. Simply flight plan. Again, if I do this, I will have my flight plan ready. So I will just have to generate the flight. And I will have everything ready if I click on view the uh, OFP, view PDF, I have my flight plan populated. Back to FSI panel here. So this is done. We will download the scenario now. And the scenario has been imported. It shows in green. So basically now you could import the scenarios beforehand. So now it's a good idea to import Another scenario, if you want to fly another scenario later on, or if you want to fly the same scenario maybe on the Phoenix A320, then you can go ahead and as well download it as easy as that. And now the scenario is available as well for the Phoenix A320. If you want to fly it as well on generic aircraft, just go ahead and load it. Download, and now that scenario will also be available for any aircraft able to climb to flight level 250. Okay, that's it. Now we just need to start the simulator in Zurich, as it shows here, gate alpha 11 to alpha 17, which is right there on the apron. And then from FSI panel, same procedure as before, you will go from the uh, training scenario and you will be able to fly that scenario. So let's give it a quick shot. And that will be the end of this quick tutorial. So let me start MSFS. All right, simulator is ready. So what I do is select the 900ER. That's already the case. And we need to start in Zurich and we have to start in any of these gates. So let's pick up Alpha 11. Finally, the weather, we are going to take the preset FSI panel. So FSI and it's the uh, Swiss 2254 as depicted in the lesson plan. So that's the one we want. And that's it. Now we start by clicking on fly once the aircraft is sitting on the ground we will start fsi panel and we should have the uh, training scenario ready for us so let's have a quick look at that and i will show you as well if we can uh, use uh, then the um, sim brief into the pmdg that we have just generated so click on ready to fly here we go my 737 just loaded parking brake is set so that's another thing of the new version of fsi panel if you start a training scenario with the uh, parking brake set, sometimes it's impossible to release the parking brakes. So on the new version, you will see FSI panel will ask you to release the parking brake before it starts the uh, process. So we will we will see that together. So let's start FSI panel now and check that we are at the correct airport and the correct aircraft detected. 
that's correct Zurich and the 737-900 is there so if I click on training scenario now as you can see I have my 2254 that I just imported so I can click on it and click on stop training here we go now the training starts so downloading scenario ATC pack the next thing we will get is this new message please release parking brake to continue with the scenario so now I just need to release the parking brake and once this is down FSI panel will start programming the FMC and uh, everything for you for that scenario so that will take around 30 seconds just wait and see as always and once this is done we will have a look at uh, the 80s and I will show you some more stuff so the scenario is about to be ready for us to fly now I'm putting the weight, the fuel and we should get the message as you can see now that the aircraft is ready we can start flying we hear as well this ding dong this is as well a reminder that everything has been set by FSI panel and now we need to contact uh, delivery when we are ready and the 80s is always available on one two three four five this 80s guys is available uh, for departure and as well for destination so if you are in the air and you dial in one two three four five on com two you will get the 80s for your landing airport if you divert then that will be the new weather for diversion okay so always use this one two three four five if you want to get the weather so just dial in and you will get the weather good so that's it the scenario is loaded we are ready to depart and i will just check my efb okay so as we use the uh, scene brief flight plan button on our uh, scenario manager if i go now to electronic flight bag and i request data from scene brief i should get everything on my efb as you can see we are getting now the uh, call sign we are getting the uh, routing everything is right there for you so this is as well something new that you can use simply by going simply flight plan in the data in the scenario manager and then don't forget to generate your flight plan and then you will get on your uh, phoenix on your pmdg or on your headwind or on your fly by wire you will get the correct information for the training scenario and from there the only thing we have to do is to contact delivery and we are ready to go so now if i'm ready to pick up my clearance i will just call the clearance Delivery hello, this is Swiss 2254, stand 11, we are ready for push and start information. Charlie to uh, Genoa. Good morning, Swiss 2254, you are here to Genoa, runway 28, Verbit for Whiskey departure, and the score is 4432. Roger, clear to Genoa, runway 28 for departure, Verbit for Whiskey, 5000 feet, and the score 4432, Swiss 2254. Roger, 21755 for push and start, bye-bye. All right, as easy as that. So any question or comment, please drop it in the section down below or in the forum or in the discussion in the Discord channel, sorry. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.